Do you want to actually go along with them trespassing? Yeah, me? yeah I'd like to do that. You, no, Bob, no. have been, at the beginning at least, a maniac. But well, we haven't trespassed you or anything like that. We're just not what happened. Hammond said. Let me see if I could get a public records request for him, please. Officer Rios? Yeah. Yes. When you're, when you want to, when you're ready to talk to him, you'd like to be called Gandalf. Yeah, but you have to you have to go through a hey, public hey, hey, thing. Hey, 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 calm down. I'm I am you. calm. They've exactly. given you the form you requested, sir. Now they're asking you to leave. No, I understand. And if you don't leave, we're, we're, we'll take you to jail for trespass. Everything that just went down was totally uncalled for. He was uh, rummaging through some packages and going through their no. their notes and stuff like that. So How I got three people it? telling me that. <laughs> everyone I am free it is August 21st 2023 I'm in the city of Tumwater in Thurston County Washington State I am at the Washington State Department of Enterprise Services for their printing and warehouse division so you're just checking out the services here, making sure they respect our rights to record and photograph in public, and to do some public records requests. That's for the records center. Yeah. We're talking about doing a public records request for this Washington this State Agency. Yeah, and do you know which one you were requesting? Or do you have someone that you talked to before? No, just need to get a printed form. Printed form. Yep. Um, let me grab someone who should be able to help you with that. Yeah, you bet. Thanks. How you doing? Good, how you doing? Good. How can we help you? Just looking to get a printed public records request form, please. Printed public records request form. Please. I don't know that we have those here. Huh. To contact the um, communications downtown at DES, because we have a person who's in charge of public disclosure records. Yeah, PIOs. Yeah, yeah. sure. Yeah. Um, my uh, understanding of reading the statutes, though, is that, uh, and DES's policy when I read it online, was that every agency has one available or can get one available for the public if they come in to seek public records and then submit it to this office, even if it has to go somewhere else on behalf of the public. Hmm. I'm not aware of that. I'm not aware either. Yeah, fair enough. I mean, yeah. you know, a little obscure, maybe. I'm happy to wait if you guys want to call me. Do you have him. his um, contact information for our the DES? records person no I'd rather just see if it's possible if you guys could just contact that person maybe they can email one over print one out and then I can just fill it out and send it back or uh, uh, you would probably it. have to go down to the Jefferson building which is the main DES oh yeah I'm pretty confident not I know Bob 
Ferguson, the ATG, over at the ATG office, mm -hmm. just a little ways from here. He's got it on his website under obtaining records, about 60% of the way down the website that you can go in any state a agency so office. So you could print it out from there? No, I can go into any office and have one just print it out for me and then fill it out. So I'm yeah, I'm, our, our supervisor isn't here. We're, she's an estimator and I'm a customer service rep. Yeah, no sweat. Uh, like I said, I'm happy to wait if you guys want to call maybe over to that other office. Sounds like maybe they have a better idea what's going on than maybe they could email one over or something like that. I don't know. Public these... records request form. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Could you please turn off the... Okay. Oh, no, no. I definitely can't do that. Sorry. Yeah. I don't know that we're allowed to have filming in here. A public record request. Okay, we'll see what we can do for you. All right, thank you. Yep. Come in and just take pictures of everybody's stuff, but who are you? Oh, you're not going to, so you need to leave. It's a secured area. Oh, yeah, it's simply not going to happen. That I'm going to leave. Okay, you're well, who are you? Oh, no, just call the police. Seriously, just yeah, call. This is a public building, man. What are you talking about? But this is a you can you can't just come in and take pictures. Absolutely, can. it's a public place. Okay, well, just uh, okay, yeah, if you want to call City of yeah. Water? Yeah. yeah, I will. Sure, I'll wait for him. Yeah. yeah, just call. Yeah. Yeah, you can't take pictures of people's names and all that. Oh, sure you can. No, you have, yeah, but you have to you have to go through a public hey, hey, thing. Hey, 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 calm down. I'm I am you. calm. You're calm in down. here with the mask taking pictures. Hi. Calm down. I am calm. Don't tell me how to be. I I'll am tell calm. you how to be publicly. I'll tell you how to be publicly. You can leave. I will see in my building. It's not your building. <laughs> it is my building. Yeah, I don't know, you know, I don't care if you videotape me or not. There's I mean, get, get it straight. What are you talking about? You just literally said you didn't want me to video you, and now... You're well, I don't care, down. really. I don't, but it's... There you go. Calm well, down, you, man. I am calm. Why don't you calm down? You're the one wearing a mask. Dude, I'm calm the whole time. You're the one that came out you, here being belligerent. No. I have I was reporting you were harassing the girls. <laughs> I, I got it all on video. Right. Well, they're scared. Because I came in here to do a public records request? You're a public... You have to go through a system, and... They they inter listen. No, they inter no, no, no. they interpret you scared them. It's an interpretation. <laughs> That's why they came and got us. Gotcha. So That's basically, what you're saying is my public agency is going to whimsically whenever they want. I'm not saying anything. Decree that they're scared, so I can't do public records requests. No. I, what I'm saying is you scared them, and they came and got us. How did I scare them? I don't know. You know, people interpret. It's all on video, man. If people can interpret anything. I interpret you're threatening because you're wearing a mask. That's how I interpret it. Wow. And you interpret my fellow employees. That's so I come into a publicly available building, Department of Enterprise Services, taxpayer funded public building. Yeah. I come into the lobby. And you're videotaping people's records. Uh, you mean public records? You mean well, my records? Well, you have to request them to have the public Not, records. That's called the Plain View Doctrine, man. It's okay, called the Plain View Doctrine. Okay. Just, just let them be. No, I want to be videotaping. No, yeah, I do. I don't no, care. You I know, know, I don't care. Washington State Patrol's on the way. So. Yeah, because right. he scared the. Uh, remember the women came and said they were nervous and scared. Well, I didn't really say that because he's not being pressed. No. There you go, buddy. Yeah, no, Think about it. Come fine. on. They'll, they'll be here in a little bit. They'll be fine. You need to seriously chill out, man. I am chill. You're the furthest thing from chill, man. Why are you you're you're barely containing yourself right now. When you came out here like a maniac a minute ago. Really? Yeah, I really. I you to leave. Don't judge who I am. You don't know me. I'm absolutely going to judge my public servants. Well, then, okay? then report me. <laughs> it's going to happen. It's not like Fred Myers. Actually, it's probably the worst example you literally could have given just a moment ago. You know why it's not like Fred Myers? I know. 
know your apartment. Because it's my building. Okay. I own it. It's mine too. You're yes. It's You're absolutely mine. correct. <laughs> yes. That's the first cogent, reasonable thing you've said this entire encounter. Well good. What's your name? Gandalf. Oh, okay. My name's Bob. Nice to meet you, Bob. You know, we could turn over a new leaf here, but instead you came out right away, uh, getting in my face. I didn't get in your face. Dude, you you were me. six inches from me. Really? Come in and just take pictures of everybody's stuff, but who are you? Oh, you're not going to, so you need to leave. It's a secured area. Oh, yeah, it's simply not going to happen. I'm going to leave. Okay, you're well, who gonna... are you? Oh, no. Just call the police. Seriously. And just... you were obstructing me I'm from not... getting copies of records that right. are publicly available. You have to go through. Here's, the here's what I'm going to promise right. you, man. Right. One of two things is going to happen, right. okay? All right, Bob? One of two things is going to happen. Either you and the state patrol are going to conspire to violate my rights, okay. and I'm going to be unlawfully removed from here. Or okay. you're going to get back to work. I'll stay in my office where I belong. Right. I will get back to that uh, folder right there. I will take a photo of every single thing there and in this office that's publicly available. Well, I don't know if everything's publicly available. I'm not a lawyer. It's called the Plain View Doctrine, and I'm in a publicly accessible lobby. Well, what if I took that in my office? You could do it to try to impede my ability to no, access a public record. I'm not trying to record. do anything. I don't even know who you are. You don't need to know who I am. It's not your place to know. You do need to know your place, and that ain't it. Okay. You get what I'm saying? Do whatever you need to do, man. Okay. It doesn't, it doesn't, yeah. You know. Now see, this could have been a completely different thing. You're kind of chilling out now. This could have been I was completely different. The beginning, Bob. You were not chilling. I was. Seriously. You can't take pictures of people's names and all that. Oh, sure you can. No, you. Have, yeah, but you have to. You have to go through a public hey, 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 thing. Hey, 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 calm down. I'm I am here. calm. You're calm in down. here with the mask taking pictures. Hi. Calm down. I am calm. Don't tell me how to be. I I'll am tell calm. you how to be publicly. I'll tell you how to be publicly. You can leave. I will say in my bill. Seriously. Um, this is what we see on the, on the website, and that's a, a hey. Actually, that there you go. That really works. Thank you. I really appreciate that. Yep. That is totally fine. Although the last thing I want to do is give the Washington State Patrol the uh, belief that I should be leaving my office. So I'm going to wait for them in my office. And I am curious, since you work in customer service, and thank you for this. Mm -hmm. um, what exactly happened? such that the message Bob just conveyed to me was that apparently I intimidated the ladies because I came in here to ask for a public records request. I don't know, just by the way you look, I guess. So I, I, I don't know. I, I wouldn't That's worry it. about it. Yeah. So what's up with that, Bob? I wouldn't worry about it. Well, you're the one that made that declaration, dude. Right. You seemed like it was a really big thing. Well, it is. It doesn't seem... Is it a big deal? No, no, you no. Any What's any citizen, on, I, I any citizen is going to request a public record, right. and the state is open. Right. And, and I don't know that this would be the place where I would come. I would go to the attorney general's office, sure, and, and follow normal procedures. That's and possible, uh, or you could probably just go online. Well, like I'll, give I did you, I'll give you a little bit of insight. Since you're I, being I don't really want. Since insight. you're being reasonable, you're not. I'm not. I, I got <laughs> tips and leads. That there were severe, serious customer service issues here. Now, I'm not that's partially that's service. partially true. I'm not in customer. You service. are not a concern. You've been nothing but polite, cordial, yeah, reasonable, you. helpful, just like you should be. You, no, Bob, no. have been at the beginning, at least, a maniac. That's what hey, you've calmed down now. Go back to work, and and, uh, and I'm going to go back to work. And um, yeah. I'm not I'm not customer service. I'm a just worker. just. What, what is your are you plan, plan on staying in this front office? Well, I'm, I'm waiting for the Washington State Patrol now. I'm certainly not going to run. Okay. Is my girl no. doesn't feel real comfortable yeah. with well, look, a mask wearing <laughs> camera wielding guy at the front desk. Let me be desk. clear here. First of all, the only thing why well, I came in here for two reasons. One was to get a public records request, which you have helped me with, and I appreciate that. The go. second thing I came in here for was to check and see if there were customer service issues. Now, on one hand, no. On the other hand, 
yes. Now, Bob, I see why you don't work in customer service. Right. That's probably a good idea. That's your opinion. You probably you do a good right job to. in the back where you're away from the public. <laughs> he's, just, he's, he's, he's a machine operator and a very good one. And, hey, I respect blue collar stuff, but you got to understand blue collar coming up on somebody that's not going to be intimidated by that kind of behavior, I getting within four um, inches of me, raising your voice at me. I was four inches because the, your uh, computer or your, your camera's way It was off to the side. Just, just go back to work. You know I don't because yeah, I've mean, been here the, 31 years. I've worked at L&I, I've worked at All Customer, been a employee of the year, all that. So the guy, the hey, girls came to me. Too, too much information. Just yeah. go back to work. I'm going to go back yeah. to work. Uh, yeah, I'd you, appreciate all right, see you later, Bob. If you could. Good luck with that. Well, do what you need to do, buddy. I'm, I yeah. will. Take care. I don't care. Get back to work. But anyway, yeah. my, my you have a nice day. Get back to work, man. Come on. You have a nice day. Keep going on the clock. I appreciate that. Thank you. And what are you planning on just staying up here? can't just go through stuff up here. That's the publicly available logs. I'm just taking some photos of them. Of what? The customer pickup logs. Why? Because I came in here for those records. What records? These. They're publicly available records. That's why they're in the lobby. Uh, we're just going to call 911 and have them report out. Yeah. So oh. he's, he's taking pictures yeah. of the customer stuff. And no, 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 no. No, you, you need can't to leave. That. Sir, you need to leave. We're calling. They're public. We're yeah, calling. no, I'll wait for him. I'll wait for the Washington okay. Patrol. Yeah, no problem. I'm coming here, but stop taking. There's yeah. personal information here. It's public records. I can publicly, I can do a public records request for him. I'm yes, just, you can do I'm a public record. No, you're not. Yes, there's it's a procedure the for doctrine. doing it. There's, and you have to fill out the form and follow the procedure. So. Okay. Yep. Yes, they patrol on the one. I have no idea. Okay. Uh, I don't care. Uh, I don't care. Uh, I don't care. There's a lady trying to come in. It doesn't matter. There we go. Now we can get this all hashed out. said it earlier, but I just can't remember now. What was your name? Just don't want to be professional. Fair enough. What's up? Looks like we got a documentarian here. You go for it. Hey, how you doing? I'm Officer Hammond from Water Police Department. I just want to let you know we're being audio and video recorded, okay? Yeah. Hey, so just so you know, my understanding is the property doesn't want you here, or the the owners of this property don't want you here anymore. The owners, as in the people the who are any representative of this business. Gotcha. So you're trespassing me out. They're gonna trespass you. Yes. You sure you want to do that, Sir Hammond? It's really not confident? up to me. That's not up to me. It's up to them. 
Well, it kind of is up to you. You okay. could actually have a conversation with them and tell them they have no lawful right to do that, at which point you've got a decision to make. Do you want to actually go along with them trespassing? Yeah, me? yeah I'd like to do that. Okay. Fair enough. All right. What's your name and information, sir? I have no law for reason to give that to you. Okay. 95280 is really clear on trespass. You give me a no trespass warning. It's oral. I leave. Sure. You're absolutely right. Yeah. Like, I don't need your information to put it on a sheet of paper, sure. but it's still legit, still valid. What I'm telling you right now, that you're not allowed to return to the property, you can't return to the property. Cam, I mean, you look like you're a nice guy, okay? Okay. Why don't, why don't we try, but before this is finalized, okay? Let's just have a quick conversation, politely, cordially. Try to do the right thing, okay? I think that's what we're doing. Okay. There's an opportunity for you to call the city attorney first, since that's who's going to represent you guys. Let's not go down the road of just having hubris drive this conversation and this set of actions. You have an opportunity to call the city attorney. Heck, I'll even wait right off the property while you call the city attorney and just ask the city attorney. Okay, sir. Well, should I do this? Should I? You're really more than welcome to do that. Uh, that I mean, is, I'm asking you to do that. That's not the course of action I'm going to pursue. <laughs> I'm going to have you trespass from the property, and right. that'll be that. All right. Man. We'll try that. What's going on, officer? Can we get here? Yeah. So. Yeah, they just want right. to they, they, they give him the giving him the form that he asked for. They just want him to leave. Yep. Oh, I have business. What's your business? I'm working on a store. Okay. Well, they don't want you here, so you can work on the story from another area, okay? Fair enough? Gotcha. So, you guys are going to commit prior restraint on my ability to do a story? They've Is given that... you the form you requested, sir. Now they're asking you to leave. No, I understand. And if you don't leave, we're, we're, we'll take you to jail for trespassing. Yeah, we don't so, are you that. telling me I have to leave this yes. Well, yes, hang sir. on, hang on, Russ. What was your name, sir? I didn't Sorry. Yeah, the, the, the no trespass statute. The okay. trespass statute says you don't have to give that. Gandalf. Um, How would you like this to refer to? Gandalf. Gandalf. Yep. Okay, fair enough. Officer Rios. Yeah. Yes. When you're when you want to when you're ready to talk to him, you'd like to be called Gandalf. Who? Handel or Daniel? Gandalf. 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 The gray or the white? I'm kind of getting a little old, man. So <laughs> cool. I'm gonna go with the gray. Gotcha. You said if you saw the. The gray and white under here, you'd probably like, Jesus, he might even be going beyond the gray. He may be looping around to brown again. So, in order for him to actually come back and visit, this is, this is state of Washington yeah. property, right? Yeah. He actually needs to be, like, disrupting business, not just disrupting. And I'm, I'm not, I'm not. And yeah, he was. He, he, the, the receptionist felt very intimidated. He didn't want to be at her desk with the guy who's looking that intimidating and okay. refusing to leave. Why? And I'm, I'm totally with you guys on okay. this. But why did she really feel intimidated? Because just him simply being there, he's in his mask and camera, and started filming everything. He didn't and I, say anything. And I, and I, did, I agree that it's filming. totally odd. I don't know that we can articulate that it actually affects business in a public area. He needs to be like causing a ruckus, being loud, being disruptive, stuff like that. Like we need to be able to since we're using First Amendment autos and stuff, we yeah, have to yeah. clearly show for us to trespass him from a public building. Yeah, yeah. Like, I'm, I'm, we're a I'm public. Even if we asked him to leave and he wouldn't leave, he can, he can oh, be here. Yeah, we're a public, we're a public <laughs> place just like any yeah, other if state you guys, agency. If you guys were a private, a private place, but, um, but, I but, but what we do is we do print confidential information right yeah. right through the door over okay. here. Okay, and I can explain and, some, and some boundaries and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, and we're, you know, he can't get beyond the, the reception area. Yeah, Everything and else is key card. Yeah. But it's just an uncomfortable situation yeah. when we deal with... Totally uncomfortable, and I totally you know, get that. From, I just, we from we with, have to balance the comfort with... The yeah, right. correct. And, yeah, like and, I, and I know you know that. Yeah. Yeah. You wait till somebody stabs and shoots you? <laughs> you can't, it can't. You don't know where his intent is. I sure don't. I have a pretty, I have a pretty good idea of what his intent yeah. is. But yeah, just, just I'll be the aggressive yeah. one. My name's Dave, because sure. he says I'm aggressive. Let's get out of here. Because yeah. the girls come to me, sure. and I've worked here. Well, I've known Russ for a long time, Yeah. and I am loud, but... You don't know if this guy's got a gun and knife. You, what do you wait to the last minute and then then? Sir, I, I, oh, I, I totally, I totally yeah. understand that frustration, stuff like that. I mean, and the other thing we're is, not like, trying to leave anyone high and dry. Packages are there waiting for them to come pick up their pet jobs or things from fulfillment. So some of our customers aren't state agencies. They're they customer, like public customers, and they yeah. have, they might have their address and phone number on the label. And he's yeah. Everything. Yeah. So let let me talk to my sergeant real quick. I'd be willing to go in and talk to you, but if he's not actually doing or saying. 
his, just his presence alone is not allowed to be menacing. Correct. He's not allowed to be just menacing by standing there. So yeah. That's what I'm getting at. Yeah. So I just want to protect all parties involved. Exactly. So let me just go talk to my brother real quick. Look, I'm trying to be reasonable here. I don't want some sort of civil, re civil remedy to come about for the city. Unfortunately, because you guys are acting on their desires to commit prior restraint, well, we're just trying to figure out. It just what, shows no, kind of conspiracy on your behalf. There's no conspiracy. You don't have to use the big buzzwords. We're just trying to figure out what's going on. That's it. Just give us a moment. I'll tell you exactly what's going on. I came here to do a public records quest. That was part of what I was doing. Okay. I was also here working on a story after I received tips and leads that they had customer service issues. Now the guy right there been totally polite and professional. One guy almost assaulted me inside. Came that close to assaulting me. Freaking out. His name's, his name's Bob. Lost his mind because I was gathering some plain view doctrine documents in publicly available spaces. Got really upset that I was doing this. Decided to white knight because allegedly the women folk were getting scared because someone was taking pictures. So, so I have a question for you. So when, when one of the callers that called in to uh, come out here and contact you sir saying that you were going through their drawers and whatnot that doesn't sound like plain view to me can you elaborate on that i was not going through their drawers i never i got it on camera the whole time i never went behind their desk i was only out in publicly available areas i was taking some snapshots of publicly available stuff from the public okay. never went through their drawers no, that, that was a cause for because you're absolutely right that's sure. not plain view doctrine right right i mean it'd be like uh, i can look through your, i can look into your car and take a photo i can't open the door of your car get into it and start rifling through Stuff, right? Exactly. So. You're around my partner. He's just getting the other half of the story. Sure. Right? That's fine. Kind of nice. He went and waited to the last minute, and then. Sir, I, I, so thank you for coming. I totally understand that operation. Whoever runs the facility here. Well, I'd like to, but unfortunately, you guys are acting on the whims of the state of Washington's Department of Enterprise Services and trespassing me before I can. Well, we haven't trespassed you or anything like that. We're just it's not what Hammond said. You just said you're trespassing it, did you not? Trespass you, so long as the, their side of the story matches. Man, Russ does not want to do that. Sure. You know what? Actually, there's three sides. Did you know that? Every story is a triangle. Where's the triangle? The triangle is Russ, myself, and the unbiased witness that never lies. All the evidence right there. Just fantastic. So I got to talk to them a little bit about what, what he was doing in there. Uh, obviously, I'm sure you're aware in order to be trespassed from a public building, you need to be doing certain things. You need to be disrupting business and stuff like that, which I don't know that you were doing inside. I don't know that you weren't. Um, well, I don't know the guy's name. It's not Russ. It's a guy in a blue shirt. Bald. Um, he came out with Bob, the guy in the pink salmon yeah. outfit, red shirt. On video, said, "Hey, he's not doing anything to disrupt business or anything." So, and, and, and the cool, the cool thing is with this, I mean, it's cool slash confusing is that everyone has their own interpretation. Sure. What I was told is that one of the front desk personnel was intimidated by your presence, just because you're wearing the mask. It seems like you're concealing your identity, and I said, "Well, oh, I am concealing my identity, which is fine." Um, it just made it made her uncomfortable, but I kind of explained some of the legality between general discomfort, like personal discomfort, and actually there you go. business. So there you go. Here's the thing: they, they did say they have confidential records in there, so you cannot be filming expressly behind the counter. You cannot like be intentionally trying to film those confidential records behind the counter. Ooh, you can yeah. be in the public area, of course, not disrupting business. Sure. But yeah, I got to push back a little bit on that part. That's called the Plain View Doctrine. I think that was determined by the Supreme Court in 1948. And not the not the weird one in this state Supreme Court. I'm talking about the one with the nine folks that get paid a lot and they have really cool robes over sure. in DC. That one. The other Gandalfs. Yep. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So I mean you're you're not gonna be trespassed from this property. Oh, but I love it. But you can't right. you can't disrupt business. Well, why would I disrupt so. business? I'm just going in there to do I know, understand. But what I will say is I mean if you actually cause undue nuisance or something like that, like if you just ask a bunch of repetitive for like perpetually annoying questions that disrupted them doing their work they they can absolutely come back which we have consulted our attorney on stuff good. Like that. Yeah, so good yeah. so if, if you, you actually if, if you actually so interrupt that business we will come back and, and, and he just, was basically un, he was uh, rummaging through some packages and going through their no. their notes and stuff like that so how far i got three the, people telling me that's i've got an account i've got an account okay. you want I'm just to tell, see I'm just, it yeah, i'm just telling you what they said to us okay how far do you go back behind the desk 
I didn't go behind the okay. desk at all. Okay. No, she, no there's no. there's no. Oh, hold on. Like no. no. Nothing went behind the desk. Yeah, yeah, hold on. I got it in that weird, uh... Okay. He's a First Amendment auditor. He's trying First Amendment to, auditor? He's trying to get trespassed. He's trying, he wants to sue the city. Oh. Well, thanks for saving me. Of course. I'll always be here for you. Always until July. There we go. What do you guys use? What's up? You guys don't have body cameras? Mm-mm. Just oh mics. Oh my god. We have That's car cameras. That's so nerve-wracking. Well, if you see the real little red dot right there, that's a camera. So, can we do something just really nice and amicable? Sure, whatever. Can we go man. closer to the vehicle? Yeah, absolutely. Awesome. Okay. No, that's cool. That makes more sense why you guys were parking like that. I was like, why are they doing that? I thought you guys had cameras, but. No. God, that's kind of weird. You guys don't. You guys are like in the, well, not really the capital proper, but you know what I mean. Yeah, close to it. Yeah. Close enough. So here's me coming in. Oh, okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Thank you, Brian. This is person possible exposure of Qua Bank on with a square loop. How's it going? 70. Um, actually, records is going to be the next one. Well, yeah. I just can't increase the volume more than that. You, can you guys hear that? I can hear a little okay. bit, yeah. All right. I'm old as well, so my hearing's not as good. Man, it really does hit you later. <laughs> yeah, what I was taking pictures of is the uh, publicly available records, like, the, like that type of stuff and make the stuff that was out got, on, the, got, on the counters. Yeah, and stuff like, oh, exactly. Okay. They've, got yeah. Folder, they've got folders for like customer pickup stuff and all it shows is like, DCYF picked up package 98523 at blah 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 time. Okay. 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 Stuff you can do A, a public records request on and B, if it's publicly available, you can view it because of the point of view doctrine. And like the there you go. That's all I looked at and there's the other one right over there. Never went into the other restricted areas. This step to the to the area. The lobby. Oh, that's okay. it. See? So, Can you just do this, this uh, interaction with the, uh, I'm assuming the supervisor? Or what no, it? that's Russ. Russ. He's a yeah, customer yeah, service that's representative. That's I don't know who that is. I know she's in Toledo. Sure. Sure. I'm just explaining to them that Bob Ferguson has it on his ATG site that you can uh, obtain records in person if you want. Oh yeah, yeah, and put it online. Yeah. You guys want to see the rest of it? No, we'll do. We put all the data. Thank you for your patience. I really appreciate it. Yeah, no problem, man. You're Officer Rios, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, can I get your badge number real quick? Yeah, it's 18. Hold on, they had a cool one. They had four Paul whatever. I'm still four. My actual badge number is 18. That's just my that's just like my, my area code. Like it's like a call sign. It's a little different than the badge oh, number. Okay. That's just why we refer to ourselves. I was like, the, oh, you got something way cooler here. You're like, I'm just 18. Just, I've like, been here like, for so long. Like I'm being, just 18. Yeah, it's like All right. Name Seal. Hey, <laughs> yeah. I appreciate you uh, having that conversation with them of and you know squaring that away because also that frees up services in the future to where you guys aren't responding with four cars where you can show up at just one and be like hey come on yeah it's yeah. it's like i mean it's more how how our calls are coded from dispatch like they sure they say it disorderly and we don't really have all the details and stuff like that yeah. you can put together some of the pieces before you sure. get here but okay all right yeah. well hey look be safe out there Thank appreciate you. the help yep have a great day take care
right, everyone, we're going to go back in and Hey guys, I'm gonna go back in and finish my business. Did you let them know that this is not a nuclear tipped GoPro? I did not tell them that. Some of them nuclear. are and some of I them aren't. I can the appreciate nuclear. the immediate fear. They're like, dear God, he's gonna nuke the building. <laughs> That's <right>? fair. <laughs> and this one shoots torpedoes, so it's wacky. Sean, so you want me to walk in? <laughs> Have a good day, guys. Later. No, that's it. Uh, Rios is going to add a bunch of notes on exactly what he told uh, those guys uh, as far as like what he's allowed to do and not allowed to do. And if it's like if you have sensitive material, like stuff that's in like plain view, like you should probably not keep it there. You should you should definitely move it. Right. I don't, I was not tracking this the park. Well, not too bad. Any flag? Three seven nine. Show me busy at the courthouse on or, this call. Signature of like a Amen. public building or? Oh no. So this is like a state building. Yeah, I wasn't tracking yeah, it. Yeah, it's actually a state building. Gotcha. Yeah, some of these, like, that's a state building. That is a state building where they do, um, like, uh, auction off stuff. Mm -hmm. So any, like, surplus vehicles, like, all of these vehicles are, like, surplus vehicles. Mm -hmm. And so they, they will auction them off gotcha. at some point. So any state entity that has, like, fleet vehicles that are, like, going out of service will come here, and then they will... Uh, then they'll auction them off. They have like tons of stuff in there. It's wild. Like, if you ever get a chance to walk through there on day shift. So you can just buy vehicles at their auction? You can auction, yeah. You can buy them at, the same, at they a, actually auction them off there? I, I, I think the auction is actually online. Oh, okay. Yeah, uh, but that's where they, what, that's where you go. And so like, but I mean, they have like office materials. They have like tons of like, tons of weird stuff in there. Right, it's super cool. Did you let them know that this is not a nuclear tipped GoPro? I did not tell them that. Some the of them learned, some I of them didn't tell them about I can the nuclear tip. Like, dear God, he's going to nuke the building. <laughs> That's right? fair. <laughs> and this one shoots torpedoes, so it's wacky. Sean, so anyway. you want me to walk yeah, in? Thank you. Sure that no, no, he's okay, good. Cool. He's good. Thank you. Alright. No, he's good. All right, we're going to head back inside to finish our business. Anyone want to comment? Before you see me touch the door, if they have locked the door. Let's see if they have locked the door for the day. They have not. Hello. Are we all good here? Did the officers talk to the staff here and square this away? Because everything that just went down was totally uncalled for. Let's all go. Yes, oh, you're, you're here, let's all go out here. Wow. You can. That's how Washington State responded to this, huh? Yeah. We, we, we you guys know. just aren't going to learn, huh? We don't know what you want or whatever. So. Wow. That's a lot of hubris, man. A lot of hubris. Well, the... Uh, Story continues here for the Department of Enterprise Services. All right, everyone. Well, we're going to have to get complaints going on there. Obviously, they're not going to uh, share their information. But this right here, as you can see, Department of Enterprise Services for printing and imaging uh, fulfillment services. Huge, enormous problems here. The tips and leads that I received about this building and its customer service issues are definitely in line. Um, I had received one tip in lead that said upon attempting to get a public records request, they were uh, shuffled out the door. And that is exactly what they attempted to do at the very beginning when I entered into the office. That one lady in the glasses the really upset one said, um, yeah, you can go down to the other office. But as soon as I pushed the issue and said, I need to get that form, it began with Russ actually being really good on customer service and getting me the form. And it could have ended there other than me getting a video and picture of the publicly available documents. But as you can see, the tip and lead, and I will email you, I appreciate the tip and lead that you provided me. Uh, this place has a lot of work to do on transparency. So um, yeah, it's really quite insane. That was 
four police officers. There's one, uh, that was Rios, Hammond, Sergeant Finch. Uh, actually, there was five. There was the really uh, kind of angry old man police officer. Uh, I'll get his name and badge number later. But yeah, this is really concerning that their behavior is like this. So we're gonna have to do some complaints, uh, ask for an explanation as to why the entire office behaved that way. Um, really uncalled for. So uh, guys, that's I'm gonna call it good for the day here in Olympia. Um, actually, I had quite a few more places to go, but uh, I am out of time for the day. So I'm gonna head out. Uh, please like, share, and sub subscribe. Comment below, let me know what you think about this interaction what happened how it went down uh maybe you have a view on how i approached it or they approached it or both so just let me know uh thanks as always for watching and being involved in the uh with my channel and the stories that i work on so i will see you guys at the next location take care thanks bye